I want verses 18 through 22. It says this, in hope against hope, Abraham believed that he would become a father of many nations as he had been promised by God. So numberless shall your descendants be. Without becoming weak in faith, he considered his own body now as good as dead for producing children. Since he was eight, since he was about a hundred years old, and and he can and he considered the deadness of Sarah's womb. But he did not doubt or waver in unbelief concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong and empowered by faith, giving glory to God, being fully convinced that God had the power to do what he promised. Therefore, his faith was created, was credited to him as righteousness, standing with God. See, Abraham didn't forget how God had shown up for him in his life. He didn't forget what God had done for him. He didn't begin amnesia thinking that it was just himself or he got to where he was or he conceived on his own. He understood that it was a process that God had taken him through because in natural terms, he should not have what he has. Some of you don't understand that people are looking at you because they don't understand in natural terms how you have what you have. How you are blessed. How you have the peace that you have. How you have the strength that you have. How you have the joy that you have. You should be somewhere in a padded cell, climbing the walls, scratching your head, screaming, when no, running when nobody's chasing you, and they can't figure out how you have what you have. He realized, I have what I have because God, because my wife's womb was dead. There was nothing happening in my body. So us coming together should have produced nothing, but somehow God intervened. Some of you ought to be grateful this morning. Lift your hands and thank God that God intervened in the situations of your life when your womb was dead. 